Hey DIYers, it's Jarrett with Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to be discussing how you're going to factor reset your Honeywell L7000 system. Now, uh, as a brief description, basically the way you would factor reset the L7000 is by loading the default configurations uh, within the installer tools. Uh, once you have loaded the default configuration for the L7000, it is uh, defaulting the panel settings. So once uh, you have done that, then you will need to be reprogram the system completely from scratch. Uh, when, so <clears throat> when you are loading the default configurations for the system, then uh, you're going to see four different options you can choose from. Uh, the four different uh, default configurations, they're going to have or load the same settings onto the system, but there are going to be uh, minor differences between the four of them. Now, I'm not going to jump into detail about that during this video, so if you do want to figure out or you want to know the differences between the four default configurations, uh, you can find that on page 27 of the L5200 and L7000 programming guide. Now, uh, you cannot change the uh, values of the different uh, con default configurations for the system. So when you do load uh, a default configuration, it's going to um, load those, those settings that it is programmed to do to the L7000. Now, specifically the default config one, uh, that is associated with defaulting the panel settings of the L7000. So for this video, we're actually, begin we're actually gonna be choosing default config one. Now, when you do load a default configuration for the L7000, um, you will need to reprogram the system completely from scratch, as I did say prior. So, uh, when you do load a default configuration, it's going to reset all of your zones that you have programmed. Uh, so, you will need to reprogram your sensors back into the different zones. Um, it will also reset uh, the panel settings, uh, the system settings that you have programmed, um, given your user codes, it is going to reset your master code as well to the default, which is 1234, and it is going to uh, reset the installer code to its default as well, which is 4112. So <clears throat> if you were a user and you were looking to uh, factory reset your L7000, um, normally there's a couple of reasons as to why you would do so. So uh, the, the, one of the main reasons why you would do that is if you were a homeowner, and um, you were moving into a new home and you knew that the, se the sensors and the zones that you do already have programmed in the, in the system is not gonna match up to how they're gonna be set up in the new home. So instead of getting into the new home and trying to jump into the zones and trying to reprogram the sensors and figuring out what sensor goes to what zone, um, you can just factory reset the L7000 and just reprogram the sensors from there, right? <coughs> Plus, uh, if you by any chance maybe you forgot the master code or whatnot, uh, that will reset the codes as well. Another reason is if you were moving out of the home and you were leaving the L7000 behind and you didn't want the new homeowners knowing the codes that you had programmed, uh, if, you didn't, if you thought they might, have, uh, might want to change up the zones or whatnot, uh, you can reset the L7000 as well so that they can do what they want with the system and everything will be defaulted. Uh, another reason <coughs> is if maybe you were um, giving your L7000 away to like a family member or a friend and um, you also didn't want them knowing your zones, you didn't want them knowing your uh, codes or the settings that you had set, you can default the system so that you can basically just give them uh, basically almost a brand new L7000. So um, if you were a user and you did want to factory reset your L7000, you'll follow these simple steps. So <clears throat> on the home screen, you're gonna press security, and then you're gonna tap more in the bottom right. And <clears throat> on the top right, you're gonna press tools. And you, uh, in this window, you're gonna type in the installer code. Uh, the default installer code, as I said, is 4112. And then you can hit program. And uh, <clears throat> now you're gonna hit the down arrow until you see default config. So you're gonna tap default config. And as I mentioned before, you're going to see the four different uh, default configurations you can choose from. So for this video, we are going to be choosing default config one, but I'm not actually going to be defaulting the system uh, due to other videos that will need to be made. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> default config one, you're just gonna tap on it. 
And if you want to default the system, you're going to press yes. So once you have pressed yes, then the system will beep at you three times to confirm that the system has successfully been defaulted. Uh, once you have confirmed that it has beeped three times, you can basically just hit the back arrow until you go all the way back to the home screen. Uh, so you hit the back arrow. And when you're hitting the back arrow, you're normally going to get this window. Uh, allow installer to re-enter programming. Now, <clears throat> you're always going to press yes on this menu or on this window. If you ever press no, then uh, you will be locked out of programming. So next time you try to jump into programming, you're not going to be able to. And you have to go through these different steps to try to backdoor the system. So to avoid that, you're going to press yes. And then <clears throat> once you've done that, uh, you can basically just hit the greenhouse button to go all the way back to the home screen. And that is how you factory reset your Honeywell L7000 system. If you have any questions about the Honeywell L7000 or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you want notifications on future videos, please click the bell icon. Uh, this is Jarrett with Alarm Grid. You have yourself a great day.